Hello everyone, this is Rodolfo Monin, again uh, documenting a little bit about how the um, RGB uh, controllers work. Uh, as we, s we saw in the previous video, uh, we built and we assembled the uh, controllers over uh, the, um, <coughs> the, the control wood board and this uh, I am running a copy of the um, uh, of the Pipebian distribution, which is also available in our site. And uh, I will show you a little bit about the setup over here. You can see this is a Raspberry Pi 4 running Pipebian, and uh, this is the power source for. Uh, the amplifier because it uh, this is an, a, an organ uh, let me let me show you a little bit uh, from up more afar this is a portable pipe organ emulator so now we are zooming in into the components so you have a reference of what we are observing right now and uh, as you can see, this is the Raspberry Pi. This is the amplifier power source because it uses very powerful speakers. This is the MIDI controller board. And uh, over here we have a DAC, a very uh, mm, a powerful uh, sound, sound card, but it is cheap at the same time and the, these are the most important components and uh, over here we have the controller of the uh, button board so yeah and now I will turn the uh, wood board and so we have the um, control a surface on our view and now uh, as you can see um, you you have some violet light and the uh, more uh, yellowish light so uh, in my program uh, when one register is not activated is more uh, in the bluish uh, color and if it's activated it's more yellowish you, uh, you can change it uh, in the source code and uh, as you can see the, the modules are now disassembled in order to assemble the button you only have to you have to slide a little bit and they they are keeping into place you can maybe uh, add a little bit of soft glue no not uh, the the software one in order to maintain it and upon the surface you can add uh, the the labels and then you can also print or you can uh, just use uh, labels done in your normal printer and the action is like so if you press the upper side the register uh, activates and if you push the lower side it deactivates so let's start from a uh, um, just all the register deactivated so the organ is silent and let's activate one register and you can activate them in a sequential form so this is the way of working of the controllers I hope it is understandable and the next session will be about our preset button board we also have one for the the change of the presets on the organs this is one open source design that you can also find on open pipes uh, which are we are completing 
that it will allow you to to put eight or sixteen uh, preset uh, changer on your designs too. So thank you for your your attention and see you later.